What I don't like when she goes out and says, you know, nothing happened and it's all my skincare line. It's just not very honest. Most likely, she's had some... Hey guys, Dr. Gary Linkoff here of City Facial Plastics in New York City. I'm a facial plastic surgeon and a hair restoration surgeon, and I wanted to go over some of these before and afters of Jennifer Lopez and kind of give you some of my thoughts, you know, because there's been a lot of buzz about this new skincare line she has and, you know, how natural is her facial appearance, has she had work done, she's repeatedly denied having had anything like Botox, filler, and definitely has denied any you know facial plastic surgery but there is only so much you can hide from the world and especially these days where you know there's so many pictures taken and there's just a lot of analysis out there about people's appearances especially celebrities so i wanted to give you my two cents on things that she may have had done of course i don't know for sure i don't know who her doctors are it's i think reasonable to speculate and the main reason isn't to kind of like hyper scrutinize the celebrity celebrities and, and make them feel bad about themselves like that's definitely not the objective here the main reason is because a lot of people they look up to the celebrities especially Jennifer Lopez and you know they they see this beautiful woman and then they look at themselves and you know maybe at the same about the same age 50 years old or early 50s and they're like well why don't I look like that you know is, did I just not age well like what happened to me in my life and it's just good to keep in mind that a lot of these celebrities have a lot of resources at their disposal and and they really do get a lot of things done to enhance their appearance, which is very reasonable, especially being in the spotlight like they are. But people shouldn't feel bad. Like there's, you know, no chance for them to look more attractive or to look like their younger self. A lot of these things are attainable. And so I wanted to share my thoughts about JLo. So I have some images here from like 1999 up until pretty much, you know, 2020. And uh, let's kind of break it down. And let's start with her skin. First of all, the skin color seems to have changed. It's become a little bit more kind of like a bronze look. And that's mostly makeup, you know, that type of thing um, to just kind of change the skin color and the shine and all of that. And that that's okay. Now, in terms of the actual quality of the skin, a couple of things that, that can help. Of course, yeah, maybe her skincare line has incredible nutrients and rejuvenating properties properties in them and that could make you know uh, a difference here but in addition to that you know you can see that there really are like no wrinkles right and so like what can you do to eliminate those wrinkles really beyond you know Botox there's not much else I mean it's not very good to put filler into every little line. It doesn't look natural. I don't think that's what she's had done. Most likely, she's had some Botox to say the forehead area, the glabella, the uh, crow's feet. Those are the most common areas for Botox. I'm sure she's been getting that in order to maintain this youthfulness and that's really impacted on the quality of her skin and how smooth it is so i'm pretty sure that's been done now looking at her forehead we kind of talked about that already again the, the skin texture is just so smooth and something that really doesn't occur naturally we all get you know frown lines over time especially someone who sings a lot and is so animated like jayla now looking at her eyebrows there's been an interesting transformation they were quite thin early on and now there's a lot more thickness to them. I don't think she's had something that is some procedure that I do that's a little more radical like an eyebrow hair transplant. I don't think so. I think um, more likely she's had some, you know, maybe some microblading, some additional makeup to kind of increase the fullness of the brow, which is uh, sort of the modern day sort of more attractive appearance and, and look. So I think that's been done. Now in terms of the upper uh, eyelids, there has been really, there, there hasn't been much access that's developed over time of the upper eyelid skin. and that to me makes me think that most likely she had some extra skin removed in order to still maintain the what's called a supertarsal crease which is that crease where you know you can put makeup on the um, area right on the upper eyelid and you have that crease that forms above it and that natural crease as we get older the skin sags and we kind of lose it so my guess is she's probably had some skin removed there to maintain that crease and also potentially the eyebrows may have been elevated with a brow lift it's 
it's hard to maintain an elevated brow position with just Botox. So she may have had a surgical brow lift to keep those brows at an elevated, uh, sort of natural, youthful position. Now, in terms of her nose, it looks to me as we've transitioned from 99 to 2019 that the nose looks a bit straighter and more narrow. Okay, and that's not something that just happens naturally over time. That to me was a surgical modification to reduce the bulbosity of the nasal tip and to bring those nasal bones in to try to kind of narrow things and potentially even an alar base reduction to reduce the flare. She had quite a bit of flare in the kind of before picture that's from uh, like 20 years ago. and. Now there's a bit of a more narrow base. The ala, the ala lobule, doesn't come out as much as, as it did in the late 1990s. So that has been a change. And then in terms of her lips, you know, she started with great lips, nice fullness, good proportions. I think if anything, she's had maybe a little bit of lip filler. I don't think she's had any lip surgery from what I can tell. I think there's maybe been some lip filler placed over time, but tastefully done. Notice how her bottom lip, even in the present day photos, is still bigger than the upper lip. And that's a natural kind of state that some of the other celebrities and, and the way kind of we see lips these days in society has been a bit distorted. The bottom lip in kind of classic beauty is should be a little bit bigger than the upper lip and she's maintained that so I don't think too much has been done, maybe a little bit of filler for just upkeep. And then if you look at her jawline, compared to her jawline when she was 30 to her jawline now, to me it looks more squared off. It looks like she doesn't have as tapered of a jawline. It's a bit broader, especially out by the angles of the jaw or the gonial angle. So to me, it seems like it's been augmented. The options there are either she's had some implants that were placed on from the inside of the mouth, which is a possibility, or just filler placed along the jawline to strengthen the jawline. It can help kind of fight some of the jowling that people develop, so that's helped. But I think what what's really happened here almost definitely is some kind of other jawline tightening procedure and also for the neck because the neck starts to show your age as we all know and that is all kind of one general unit the jawline into the neck so i think she may have had a combination of like a facelift neck lift surgery to reorient and strengthen that whole jawline and if it wasn't that or maybe in addition to that probably some radio frequency technique to to also elevate elevate and restore some of those features. So radio frequency energy with or without microneedling, such as the in-mode system known as FaceTight or Accutite, or other systems that are out on the market like the Profound system, they can help tighten by basically building up some collagen deeper underneath the skin. So she probably continues to get some of those non-surgical treatments, you know, as time goes on. But my guess is that she's had some sort of surgical augmentation there as well with at least one lower face kind of neck lift to really reposition things. And then in addition to filler along the jawline, I believe she's also had some upper cheek filler as well, just to provide that additional balance and recreate that kind of heart shaped face. So all of these things are are kind of being done over time and you know kind of help to, to augment the overall appearance and helps keep keep her young keep her looking young but what i don't like is when she goes out and says you know nothing happened and it's all my skincare line it's just not very honest okay i just took off the mask honestly i cannot even see a line on my face <laughs> it is glowy and gorgeous and tight and yummy and like, oh my God, this is the best mask that I've ever, ever tried. These are just some of my thoughts about what JLo may have had done over time to stay looking as beautiful as she looks. You know, all these things are, they're possibilities for people who are aging, who are seeing changes occur that they may not like. So again, beauty can be attainable and it's not something that's only reserved for celebrities. So let me know what you guys think about that analysis. Once again, I'm Dr. Gary Lenkov of City Facial Plastics. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. More to come. See you guys.